<sighs> so making our way to Olympus. So, um, Patricia Coleman, Pat, maybe if she doesn't accept, maybe Brianna, maybe, maybe Mitch, actually, he could work too, but then when we head back to Hillborn, we got to make a stop at Gavin's ranch and see if Rob would care to join us as well, so. <sighs> Building up this team. I mean, I don't know how well this trip is going to go, but, I mean, hopefully we can find everyone. I just... Gracie's not... She's not entirely wrong. I guess it does seem like now that Martin, or not Martin, now that Anthony has been taken, I guess it does seem <laughs> like I'm only now putting all of this into place, but thats it's not the case. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time, but I've been doing everything I can, but it does seem like it's because Anthony's been taken, and I understand that it looks like that, but that's not the case at all. <sighs> Martin's already there. Um, hey, Martin, you guarding the door? What's up? Hello. Anything new? Um, no, I'm a, I'm afraid not. But I wanted to know if maybe you wanted to join me. Join you? On what? Well, I want to go on a search to look for everyone. Aren't people already doing that? Yeah, but they only go so far. I mean, once they're out for too long, they come back just because don't want to risk losing more people. But I want to go the full way, which means being away for a few days and a lot more risk. All right. So, just you and I, or uh, others going to be joining us? I mean, you're the first I've asked, but there's a couple others I want to invite. Right, well, I'm in. Anything to try and bring Anthony and Linda home. When are we going? First thing tomorrow morning. As soon as the sun comes up, we'll be meeting at the museum. And anything specific I'll need to bring? I mean, not really. Food, water, you know, for a few days. Whatever else you think you'll need. I think you'll definitely want to wear dark, tanned, or green clothes. Will this do? Yeah, your current outfit will actually be perfect. Good. I'll be ready. Alright, um, I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you for saying yes. I, I appreciate it greatly. Okay, so that's one person. Okay, now this one's going to be interesting. I haven't really spoken to Pat much since her boyfriend Lewis was taken, so... <sighs> it's going to be interesting to see or how she reacts, I mean... From where I'm at right now, I can see this going one of two ways. This can either go with her jumping for joy and being really excited about joining us for this because it means that she can find her boyfriend and if worse comes to worst and he is gone and so is everyone else, maybe she's the kind of person that would like revenge or at least want to be there for that, but... Then the other way is that she completely turns it down and says no, but... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> knock knock. Who is it? It's, uh, it's Ryan Forrester. Um, can I come in? Oh, come in. Uh, thank you. Um, wow, it's actually pretty nice in here. Um, hey. Pat, did you need something? Uh, <laughs> we can get to that in a minute, but how are you? 
I don't know. I'm I'm lost. I'm so used to being with Lewis and, and now I I just don't know what to do. Well, um the reason I'm here, maybe maybe there's something that I can give you maybe I can give you something to focus on. Like what? Well, I want to go out on a trip. Um, it'll be a few days long, and the goal is to track down the silenced, if possible, and find our people. And you want me to join you? If you'd like to join us, then yeah, we'd, we'd like to have you. Yes! Absolutely. Alright, that was actually quite quick. Um, so far... It'll be me, you, and Martin John, but there is one other person I'd like to invite. Okay, when do we go? First thing tomorrow morning. We're going to be meeting outside the museum because we're going to be going through the subway. I'll be there. Alright, um, bring food and water, enough to last for a couple of days. You're going to want to make sure you're wearing something dark, tanned, or green. If you want to wear that jacket you're wearing, that'll do. I can do that. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for joining us. I really, I really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? We'll all be there, and we'll all... We'll all do this together, okay? Take care. If you need anything, you know where I am. If you have a radio, radio me. I know Brianna has a radio. If you need to, borrow hers. If not, I'm only at Hillborn anyway, so it's a few minutes away. Take care. Okay, so, I mean, she seems a little upset, but, I mean, it went the way of her being excited. Well, well I don't want to say excited, because that's probably not the right word, but willing to join us, I think, she probably works better. So now it's me, Martin, and Pat going, which leaves just Robert Gavin to ask now, and asking people that not only that I've worked with and know their worth, but also people that have lost about as much as I have, I mean, Pat lost her boyfriend. Martin lost Anthony and Linda and also Major and Joe and even Ivan, I suppose, which he worked alongside them as a guard, which I think he's taken a break from being at this current point, but... And then Rob, who's lost two grandchildren, so... We've all got... We've all got stuff to lose, but... We'll lose even more if we don't find our people, so... Hopefully, with that one main factor amongst all of us, hopefully we'll have enough determination to find our people. I just don't know... I don't know where to start. I mean, like, yeah, we go down into the rail beneath and follow them for as far as we can go, I mean... Thing is, the people the scouts we've sent out before have gone all the way to the ends of the subway and gone up, and they're just in a little town, and there's nothing but forest, and the forest could go on forever for all we know, and no one has gone far enough to actually find out. I mean. <sighs> It's safer to only go so far, so we only tell our scouts to go out so far, but if we don't keep going past that point, we're never going to find our people. So, the whole point of this little search team that I'm building right now is to go out past where we've gone before, through the forest, and hopefully come out into maybe a clearing, or maybe we'll reach another town. I'm not all too familiar with this area. I don't know, but that's why I'm bringing Rob, because thinking about it now, he probably knows the area. I mean, he's owned the, the branch for 
years by the sounds of it. it. Seems like it was passed down from generation to generation, so I don't know how many generations it's been in his family, but he's bound to know the towns nearby and the cities, I mean. <laughs> I have no clue, I mean, I know there's a small town near where we wait to recruit people for the community, but other than that, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of all new to me, despite being here for quite a while. I haven't really had to go out too far. Excuse me. Um, I'm here to see Robert Gavin. You know who I am anyway, so thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay, everything the guards are doing. I mean, half of them, I don't even know their names. I mean, they wear the masks. It's kind of hard to tell them all apart, but I do appreciate everything they do for our community. I mean, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have anyone protecting our walls. So, <sighs> here we are. Okay. Um, is Robert in? I assume he is... Um, can I go in? Uh, thank you. Um, okay. Uh, Rob, it's it's Ryan. I'm I'm here to I'm here to talk to you. Oh, um, hello. Um, hey, what can I do you for? Well, um, I'm going out tomorrow to look for everyone that's been taken, including my grandchildren. Including Mason and Russell, yes. It's going to take a few days, and I was wondering, would you like to join us? Are you kidding? Of course! Uh, yeah, yeah, good. Um, the group is meeting at First Light tomorrow, just outside the museum in Olympus. But, excuse me, why would you ask to take my father if it's my son that was taken? Why aren't you asking me? Well, um, Chris, the thing is, I know your dad better than I know you. I mean, I know what he can do, and I've worked with him more. You know, I've worked alongside him, not only working on the greenhouses and the farming side of things, but also, just in general, I've worked more alongside him than I have with you. So? He has a head injury. He's in no state to go out on a multiple-day searching trip. Everything he can do, I can do. You know what? Fine, I mean, I'm happy for either of you to come with. You know, I mean, if you can both track, if you both know the area, that's fine, you know? I'll leave it up to your dad, though, okay? It's his decision, so... Rob, what do you think? Are you gonna still come, or are we taking Chris? I can do it. My wound is healing well. I'm going to do it. But Dad! Hush, boy. I'm going, and that's final. Ryan, I'll be there. Anything in particular I need? I'll tell you what I told everyone else. Um, you're going to need food and water to last you a few days. Green, dark, or tanned clothes. Anything else you want to bring is up to you if you think you're going to need a load of weapons. Then you think you're going to need a load of weapons, but I don't know. I wouldn't recommend bringing a tent or anything like that, because if we're going to be setting up camp, it's going to be somewhere hidden. What about horses? Well, I think it's better and safer to go on foot, not only for us, but for the horses as well. I mean, we don't exactly have many in the community, so it's not worth risking them. Agreed. Wanted to go over that just in case, so who else is going? Well, it'll be you, me, Martin John, and Patricia Coleman. That is everyone I've asked, and everyone that's accepted. So, a skeleton crew. Yeah, um, I mean, if, if that's, if it's changed your mind because of the lack of people that's going, I mean, that's fine. Everyone that's going is willing to risk themselves to find everyone, so if that's changed, I'm completely okay with that. I haven't changed my mind. It's worth the risk, and it's good to know that I'll be with like-minded people. 
yeah, all right, that's yeah, exactly. So that was my thought, but um, thank you. Thank you. I'll be there tomorrow. See you there. The museum, right? Yeah, the museum. I'll see you too. Um, not you too, but you too. Um, thank you for accepting my offer. I know it's not exactly ideal with everything that's going on and 11 people being taken, but it's just gotten to the point where it's we do something now or I mean the longer this goes on the less and less chance there is to find everyone so <sighs> I think we have to find them now or sadly I'm not sure if we're going to find them so thank you and we're going to do everything we can <sighs> okay I don't know why I built myself up expecting people to say no. I mean, really, it's obvious that everyone's going to say yes. I mean, if they want to find their loved ones, then of course they're going to do everything they can within their power to try and find them. So I suppose it was stupid of me to think otherwise, but that's our team of four. Me, Rob, Martin, and Pat. So I'd say we have a decent set of not only fighters but people with a decent skill set so I think I think we should be alright and hopefully hopefully we can find everyone that that is the main thing and if we find where the silenced are at in the process that is gonna be even better <sighs>